All right. A new set of people. I don't think I've played with any of these. Masters Roll Challenger. My tank is. But is he Masters on tank? I need to know. Hello. He's a support master. All right, I'm just going to go on a uh, yellow, uh, yellow house here. And I can possibly kill the Widow if they have one. Uh, once she grapples. Or... Or I can kill them once they go on cart. We'll have Diva and a uh, Benji. I can go. I can go on the back line with my. Uh, I have a uh, Hansu. Those have to watch out for him. Iron's playing a little bit aggressive here. Respect it. the Kiriko. Oh, I missed some bullets there. Could have killed her. If I didn't have two blinks there, I would have probably died. Okay, so, am I in yeah, Susu for that? Doomfist is creating a lot of space right now, so I'm going to utilize that. That's actually really well played by my Doomfist there. Kind of carried that fight. All right. I need to start creating a little bit more distractions in the back lane because I can see both of their uh, supports have a lot of healing. It means that they probably are, in, are untouched, which they, they kind of are. I haven't touched them yet. I gotta watch out for Hanzo. Hanzo does a lot of... Hanzo's a really big threat to, to Tracer, in my opinion, because of how often I get headshot by him. So I usually don't want to stay too close to a Hanzo for too long, so... I don't want to proceed with caution in that one. We call that one. Uh, I could kill uh, Kiriko here, because she used her TP. Uh, that's a good Susu. She doesn't have any cooldowns now whatsoever. No Susu or TP, which means that I have to focus her. 100% make sure I don't get recalled on. But again, like we talked about before in the other game on King's Row, always, always save your all 40 bullets. Always save all 40 bullets uh, on D.Va for when she remakes, because it's really easy to one clip the D.Va when she's remaking. I gotta help my Doomfish here. But I gotta get out. I can't stay too far with him. Or too long with him. Especially not that deep in. Uh, and I have a feeling that he should kind of get out. Right about now. Okay. one. I didn't even know I recalled or reloaded. Man, just God damn it. I don't want to use false bomb. So too soon, that would be a good time to use false bomb, but I'm getting a lot of free card time here. The diva is feeding right now. The diva doesn't have ult, I don't think. I don't have to worry about that. Our Doomfist is going to die here, but I might be able to trade the Ana. But the turret is a little bit of a problem, so as long as I don't peek main, the turret won't really do any harm to me. The turret is also very strong against uh, Tracer. So uh, try not to peek it too much or... You can what you can one clip a turret and melee to kill it. So if you hit all your bullets and you melee the turret, you can kill it. So sometimes you can you can blink in, um, kill it and recall out if if uh, it's creating a little bit too much trouble for your team and you and you don't have anybody else that can kill it. So we have a, a very heavy dive right now, which means Kiriko should stay on point and the rest of us should set up to go on the enemy backline. So I'm gonna go under here. It's this way I can go um, get high ground behind him here. 
Gotta make sure nobody's looking at me. They got a Pharah. Damage boost the Pharah one shots you if uh, you get uh, um, if you get direct rocketed. On the Mer uh, Mercy, because it looked like my uh, my Doomfist was uh, targeting the Mercy as well. So I'm gonna spawn camp Mercy and then I can come back. My team. I'll kill Mercy so she uh, they won't have her for a long time and she won't be able to come back and rest the Pharah. Now I just have to go high ground to help with Anna. And then Tor. There's no point in focusing uh, D.Va right now too much. You can shoot her if this is the only one you can see, but Tor should preferably die before D.Va. Um, because Torp can do a lot of damage. Um, oh. GG. Let's go. Okay. Let me let me get in the back line here. Let's not get hit by that. Nice. Ash might be overextended here. I go. Uh... Oh, I can't get it. This guy's doing a little bit of trolling though. A healthy amount of trolling. Okay, so I'm in the back line now, waiting for my blinks to come up. Go for the Anna. Or the Widow, I mean. Oh my god, wait, my Doomfish. I didn't even know Anna was in here. Gotta watch out for the axe. Susu. Big anti, they don't have Susu for that. Now we just really gotta focus her. Gotta watch out, I don't die because I'm very low. I get I can pretty much die to both of those supports. The body shot almost. Uh, maybe I should have played a little bit more aggressive there. I feel like the enemy team was playing very, very, like, locked up together, which makes it a bit hard. Okay. Number one uh, op objective now is to make sure the top bird is dead. Got a kill. I didn't. Oh, god damn it! We're playing a very hard comp to go tracer against. Gotta make sure they. Never no, mind, they can't reset. Don't have mercy. Anna up here. Let me make sure I, I push out Anna first. Here you go. She's out now. Need to recall that. Come in these two. Got the turret. I don't have to worry about that anymore. We gotta watch out for Bob now. I could wait for the health pack to come up. Kinda should do that. I gotta play really, really, really safe into what they have. Because Thor messes me up. Ash messes me up. Anna messes me up. Kiriko messes me up. Pretty much their whole comp is anti-tracer. Um, if I wasn't doing a uh, unranked to uh, GM tracer only, I would not be playing tracer into that. So if the, the best tip that I can give you guys is to swap off tracer against that. Because that's like the only worst thing could be is maybe if, if Ash swapped off. Uh, um, swapped off Ash to go Hanzo. Might be the only worst thing, but. Oh, could die here. No mind, he's nano boosted. Going up on Anna now. Knew I was coming. The next door torped her, so I can't focus her. Torped her will pretty much kill me if I try. Trying to help out my Doomfist with the Torb. Now Torb is dead. I'm gonna push out Jungle Queen here, because if we get Jungle Queen off the point. We'll start to be able to move in. Actually, I have to go on the Anna, I think. 
Now I have to go back again once I get body shot once. Because if I get body shot twice against Anna, I die. Okay. I have to... I pretty much just have to wait for my Doomfist to go in and play aggressive. And I cannot post bomb either. Unless they use Susu beforehand. Because all of those things can get countered pretty easily. Don't mind. I just messed up. Nice. As long as we keep anti people... The Ash is really focused on me right now for some reason. Which means my Doomfish will be able to go in for free. I'm with the cart. Yeah, my job as Tracer right now is just to follow my Doomfish wherever he goes pretty much. I can't get any solo kills on any of them right now. Because if I get close, I'll die. So I have to just poke them from a long range and... Uh, with my team probably get out from that be safe do we nano trace to this fight kind of voice it still hurt me somehow <gasps> what a sleep The only real opportunities that I have is my pulse bombs, and I'm missing those, so it's no bueno. Luckily, my team is doing really well. My Doomfist is creating a lot of space right now. He's just very early, actually. I need to get out, because I don't have any blinks whatsoever. Where's their turret? Oh, it's over there. The turret is kind of shooting me wherever I'm going. And the same with Ash, so... Okay, you just regroup here. It's Torb the worst the treasure counter. Uh, in the DPS role, it's either Ash, Torb, or Hanzo, in my opinion. Cassidy a little bit, but I, I actually dislike playing against uh, those characters more than Cassidy. It's a little bit annoying, but... Characters like Ash is really good against what they have. Or Sojourn. Sojourn against what they have is like probably the best you could play right now. Again, you can one clip the turd if you want to. Oh my god. Not a bad push though. A lot of people hold on the second point here. Yeah, I'm just gonna die to the turret. Okay. Oh, this one's very hard. Saria is incredibly strong into what they have. Saria, Sojourn, or Diva, for that matter. But I don't think um, he's doing a lot of work on on, on Doomfist still. We'll see how our uh, defense goes. Usually people don't cap third point, so that wasn't a bad uh, push. Um, they have Widow now. It's actually not bad for me. As long as I get on the back line. That is. <clears throat> so if Voodoo uses Grapple now. Grapple's up here. That would be nice. I'm dead here. I'm really thinking about Kiriko uh, 2 being until then. So, so. Okay. As long as their Widow isn't going to be a problem, we should be fine. Swap to Pharaoh. I almost got directed by that. Oh, I'm not dead. 
Oh, that's actually a big fake. Oh, I don't think I've hit a single pulse bomb yet. On Diana, because that's our only healer right now. Now they don't have any healers, which means that Rizzo will slowly but surely die, but same with the people that are already low. That's a big kill from Doomfish. Doomfish killing the Kiriko there was actually huge. Because the Kiriko with her Kitsune would have been able to keep up their Arisa for a very long time. But luckily they've been swapping they swapped off Torb. Uh and they swapped off Anna to go Mercy. Which makes this even a, a lot easier for me. Makes it a lot easier for me now. And I think the Kiriko is forgetting to heal the Mercy, which I respect. That means I can kill the fair then afterwards because we won't have any healer. Now we're just cleaning up. Hunter's right side, I can hear him. So he's either in there or up on the right side. So against their comp now, Tracer's not a bad pick. Because uh, they got rid of two out of the four characters. Actually, two out of the five characters that are really hard for Tracer. Because um, Jungle Queen's uh, scream, in my opinion, is also very uh, strong. But I might just be weird for thinking that. I'm still risk because she's one HP with my team now. How? I, I, I don't understand. How none of the pulse bombs are hitting. It has to be a bug. There's, there's only one explanation. It's a bug. It's got to be a bug. Yeah, Jungle Queen Scream is really strong to uh, uh, whenever you help your supports against a uh, tracer, so. Either Jungle Queen or, or Diva, that's the hardest as tracer to deal with. Okay. So even though we didn't cap third point, it, was, it wasn't too demotivating because it is really hard to cap third point on this map. So just because you don't uh, cap it all the way, it uh, doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to win, so. All right, we are 7-0 and now. That was a long game, 47 minutes. It would be nice if we could get GM where this one says one hour. Imagine if we could do that. Okay. Uh, Koth is really good for Tracer. That's just that's just how it is, point blank. No excuses, so. We'll be able to do good here. We do have a, um, a wife lever, but he might be able to pop off. My Fleaver has yet to receive a, a change that made him viable yet, so. Okay, so they got Fair Mercy, which means I should be going for their second support. Because it's probably going to be an Anna. So. Because their Anna won't have. Uh, the Mercy is mostly going to be on, on Diva the whole time. Oh, not the Diva, the Pharah. Just going to make it really easy to kill the second support. They're always going to be alone. And then just slowly but surely. Um, put down on the on the mercy because Anna won't be there to heal the mercy either. So, big pulse bomb! Oh my god! Finally got a kill with it. We got the mercy. It's fine. They won't be. They won't push in without the mercy. Surely. Surely they won't. Okay, never mind. My my fair died. It will push in. No mind. The grill. Okay, so they'll be going to point now, and it will most likely be alone. I don't even, oh, oh, come on. Okay, the team. So they're gonna try and rest now. So I'm just gonna be focusing the mercy. I just got the same thought. All right, can I maybe switch? Uh, we might actually lose this game. Our comp is absolutely atrocious when I'm looking at it. But it's still winnable. Oh, that's is far right, actually. That's not a good spot for him to be in. That's a very bad spot for him to be in. I don't really know why he would be there.
Oh, come on, he was playing a little bit more aggressive than I thought. So my old team is dead now. Four or change. I got the point though. I'm gonna stall a little bit. So we get 85%. Paras on the point now as well. 87%, that's not bad. Along with the uh, wife leave at the moment, uh, his stats just aren't good enough. I think that's like the general thing, right? He doesn't do enough healing and not enough damage. I want to go on the Ana, but then it's very far away and I'm going to bear mercy on me right now. We go on the Mercy now, because I, I don't think the Ana will be healing the Mercy. Oh, that's gonna kill her anyways. It was a miss, but it's still gonna kill her. As long as we don't lose this fight, we should win this game. For this round at least. They will be coming in staggered now. Actually, really bad for them, I think. To get those, those two staggers. They're gonna have to touch stagger now. They're gonna go in one by one. As long as their mercy doesn't rest anybody over here. Pulse points today. I don't know what's wrong with me. What? They rest the. I didn't even know. The... What? No, we're actually gonna lose. Oh no. Yeah, I have to touch. I thought that was a free win. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that one's. This one's lost. Okay. We might be able to win the two others. those turrets so it's gonna be doing a lot of damage uh i didn't even know they rest the uh, no i should have hit that pulse bomb if i hit the pulse bomb on the anna we might have actually been able to win it i have a feeling we're gonna win this inside map because the main problem was the pharaoh um uh, you could say the pharaoh on both teams <laughs> um and there's no pharaoh now hey wife lever stop being so toxic bro shut the you shut up. Everyone bear down. No, you shut up. A one for one trade. You get a health pack so I get the burn off me. Okay, he's full HP now. Here we call this. I don't think I'm gonna get healing for my team. We hit a sticky, let's go! But I think we're gonna lose now. No, we might actually be able to kill the D.Va here. Or oh, the Genji. Wait a minute. Assassin might be a little bit of an assassin right now killing this Genji. Money didn't kill him. So I have three people on me now. If he's chasing me, I'm just gonna go get the mega health pack up here. I might not die. Okay. We had a sticky. Okay, that was a good pick on the um, on the um, 
Anna though, but I think we were all dead, so. I really do a whole lot here. Your supports are playing well together. Oh. Yeah, I have four people on me right now, but I think I'm dead here. Yeah, okay. Okay, at least their enemy team is using ult now. Them using ult when they already won the fight is actually really good for us. But we're, we also use three ults. I know my four ults. To recall and now i have to run yep uh so right now with the tracer uh damage as it is right now it's 5.5 bullet uh 5.5 damage per bullet it used to be six but then they nerfed it um you cannot kill an anna or anybody that's being mercy pocketed so if they get a mercy pocket on them you just have to run away oh i thought he was gonna play a little bit aggressive so and especially against Anna, if you get body shot once, you have to uh, use your 15 second uh, recall cooldown. Because uh, it just has to body shot you again. So, alright. Not a bad game, though. Not a bad game. So some games, chat, are just unwinnable. And, uh, and that's just something you gotta accept. That's how it is with everything team based. Everything team based, you gotta rely on the team. Not every game is winnable. And that's okay. If you genuinely deserve to, to rank up, um the best tip that i can give you is keep playing eventually once you play enough games you should uh the amount of games that are just straight up unwinnable will eventually di dilute out so much that they won't really have an impact on your rank the ball so i can actually annoy the ball a little bit in the beginning since there's nothing else to really do i just recall now but he's half hp he's gonna go for a slam Blink back so I don't get hit by it. And then we can finish them off. Uh, so now they don't have Moira Orb either. But I can't kill whatever my Mercy is on. So I'm going to focus the Mercy now. This is 1 HP. Alright. Here we go. I can actually kill him here. I use both of the... They use both bubbles and they use Susu. We can just go for a kill now. They only use one bubble. There's no need to uh, stick him. Now I'm body shot, so now I need to run away. Because once you're body shot against a Kubika, all she has to do is hit a headshot on you. Uh, or you can just get headshot by uh, by Ash and you just die. I'm down one right now, but I might be able to change that around. Or back. So she's used Susu now and TP, which makes her a very easy target for me. So Ash is just going to be focusing on me right now, which means I'll be able to get out for free now. I'm going to blink over here, help kill the Mercy. Let the Mercy the Saria. So the only times that you as a Tracer will really only have the opportunity to kill a Kiriko is if she's by herself with no TP or no Susu. So those are the times that you you need to like take those chances whenever you get them i'm saying a chance because she could still just double ding you right i don't want to give her a charge right now because there's absolutely no reason to there's no killing opportunity now we can kill her now there is an opportunity to kill her so that's why i'm gonna break the uh the bubble but if there's no opportunity to for you to kill there's no real need to Bubble. Our remaster is just kind of holding W on them right now. I'm going to go back to help move the cart because it looked like my team were pushing out. So just for max efficiency, we just keep the cart moving. Hold back a little bit. Yeah, we can't play without our, our tank. Once our tank comes back, it should be a free, uh, free win because we have four ults. Down one bubble. Both bubbles. I'm not going to use my bolt bomb on her. Because I think she's already going to die. I can't push in now. Too much of body shot. Again, you need to be very careful about engaging when you're body shot. When they can kill you with one body shot. Because hitting a body shot uh, can be difficult sometimes. We've all been there. Uh, but it can also be very easy. 
So just play safe. Give us a little bit more winnable. 